I ended up finding an ad on Craigslist to be a shooter girl in the strip club. So I ended up handing out shots. Then I ended up dancing and lying about being a dancer. I kept saying I was a shooter girl. I always was on Craigslist looking for the new, like, come up. Mm-hmm. So then I found, like, a body rub ad. And there was this lady. She was, like, a Haitian lady. She was gorgeous. Her name was Tia. And she had, like, this body rub place. You know Tia? She, All right. Uh, she had this body rub place. <laughs> She had this body rub place with all these different girls, guys, and she'll make you fill out a real application, but it was really hand jobs and shit. It was um still happy around? endings. No, she they got busted. Of course. So I worked for her for a couple months and I said, you know what, I could do this shit. So on Powers Avenue at Self Storage, I got a four hundred dollar a month the street, office Wilson. and storage. Yeah, that's my old high school. <laughs> I got a four hundred dollar a month office storage. The front is like this and it has AC. I set up a fucking eighty dollar massage table and ran that shit. Back when Backpage was around, we had body rubs. Well aware. All we had to do was post the girls under body rubs, and it whammed with all the white guys. It whammed, whammed, whammed. So I got arrested for that. So when I got out, <laughs> that's somebody, for, that's somebody called me. That's somebody unlicensed snitch. healthcare. It was two years. We bammed wow. out of there for two years it was beautiful okay even the cops complimented us they were like damn this is cool we could run a body shop out of here i'll never forget they want a hand jobs but anyways Mm. listen who who snitched um no the girl that i had there was a new girl and she invited the police there what he came and he pretended to be a customer (laughs) and he came in he even let us jack him off I hear a knock at the door. I hear a knock at the door. I say, oh, this is another customer. I go to the door. There's about 10 cops in black fucking masks with the guns out. I'm talking about big guns. Like, we were selling dope guns. Like, we were selling fentanyl. They pulled out guns on us. I didn't That's answer illegal. the door. <laughs> that is illegal. That's entrapment. He supposed to tell you if he was a cop. Listen, I didn't answer the door not because I wasn't. I was trying to run. I didn't answer the door because I was so fucking scared to see all these police in black with the face masks yeah, on, with their guns swat. pulled out. Like we're like we have a million dollar operation going on. I couldn't open the door. Nothing in me. Like, I just backed up from the window. I remember that feeling, like, this feeling of complete fear. If I open up the door, I was going to die because they shoot you for running now. JSO <clears throat> shoot you in the back if you run from them. That's I, fucking crazy. I could just imagine the paperwork with that. He was like, yeah, so she proceeded to give me a hand job. Like, bro, you're No, gonna he didn't admit it. to it. Yeah, we so all did we all bought a lawyer. It was only 5K for a misdemeanor lawyer. They charged yeah. us with unlicensed health care. Oh. They tried to do some extra shit other than massage. But anyways, so um, they fought and fought and fought. But the girl I was with didn't have to do any time. I had to do two weeks because they said that I had been to prison and I knew about it. But this was like eight years later. It was wild. Yeah. So I continued to go through Craigslist when I did get out. And I was like, okay, I'm going to find something else to do. Um, I'm never going back to the strip club. Fuck the strip club. I'm 30. I promised myself I would be out of there at 30. So I'm looking on there. I see something that says um, do a photo shoot or a modeling shoot or an adult film. So I applied to it. And it said $1,200. And my boyfriend at the time of 10 years that was really abusive, he's like, okay, they're going to Shanghai you. They're going to, like, kidnap you and kill you. And they flew me out to Miami. And it ended up being one of the biggest companies I ever shot for, Bang Bros. They flew me out there. And I shot the fucking Bang Bus with a pimple on my ass and these blue jeans, Bang Bus. (laughs) Go find and that it research went later. crazy. I don't know why it went crazy. People ask me to this day. I, it could be the teardrop. It could be how I just didn't know how to act at the time. I was innocent <laughs> and nasty and insecure and all these things at the same time. Because I asked guys and they were like, because it was you were innocent and nasty at the same I, time. I may have like, seen that scene. Most guys <laughs> most guys like that in porn for some reason. I remember seeing the scene because it was. I don't. Yeah. I was I'm going to go look. I'm going to go remember a, now. I was a bang bus connoisseur <laughs> back then. I remember because she had split her pants. Yeah, they did that. Like yeah. they split. They our split pants. your pants. It's they split cool her pants. Though. And you it's didn't. See, and you didn't see that many white women with ass like that. That's what that's, it was. That's why it blew because up. Because I think I might have been the first pog. They you might have started your own category. Yeah. But I don't that's take a big credit. Move. You and should. I, you I should don't feel that shit it. Or you seen like Sarah J, but like nah, her ass nah. was crazier than Sarah J. Yeah, she looked better than Sarah J. Yeah, Sarah J has a weird nose. Face, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sarah J is not. Good. At the time, that's all the pause we some dudes had at the time. I was like, I'm gonna just watch the black women then until something come up. Yeah. And you started this whole movement of pogs. It take your credit where it's due. Yeah. Cool. I, I would it's gladly accept that. Like, I started so. the pog movement. I, know. I don't like yeah. people hating me, so I like to be very humble. That's what's inside. I love hate. It fuels us. It keeps our show going. Yeah. 